everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a Stock Swoosh and guess what? I'm introducing you here today to a student, a longtime student. His name is Gerard. Welcome Gerard. How are you today? I'm well, Melissa. How are you? I'm doing very good. I actually met Gerard, I think it was about two months ago, face to face in New York. You were nice enough to come to New York and we met up. That was very interesting. In all the years you were my student, I never met you till then. It's amazing what the internet does, yes. <laughs> I would have you here on today, Gerard, because you're a trader and you're doing well. And you started trading my system. What year was that? Let's see. I, I think I took the class in 2013. I think I was pretty early. Okay. And what did you do before my class? Why don't you tell people a little bit about your background? Did you know right, anything right. about oh. charts or anything before my class or did you trade? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, like many people, I had a, a, an interest in the markets for quite a few years, but I actually found a mentor in a swing trading capacity um, for, I don't know, a couple of years before I found you. And um, I thought I knew how to swing trade pretty well. And I also had taken some classes as I, you know, I, I basically was hoping to make trading my income, uh, which has in effect happened. But getting there was I'm so a long proud road. of you, Gerard. Like when I met you face to face, I got I, I'm so proud of you because I know that 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 you're really doing it, and I and I and I'm proud of you. I, I really am. You you've done well. You listened to everything I said, and I, I'm I'm proud that you've done it, Gerard. Well, thanks. It's you know as I said, it was a long road. Um, you know, there's a lot of education out there. I took different. I took some classes before I found you. And uh, some of it was worthwhile information. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, some of it was not. Mm -hmm. And um, by the time I found you, I knew I had. Well, I, I was pretty good at reading charts. Uh, I knew different kinds of trades that could happen and could be done. Mm -hmm. I had trouble focusing on particular things, uh, in particular securities for day trading. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the ways you helped me quite a bit. But, you know, before I found you, I knew I had a problem with gaps mm -hmm. and I knew I had a problem with trading the open. Because remember, I'm, I'm coming from being a swing trader to yeah. trying to make some money daily mm -hmm. in the market. So, um, you know, it, it's it, it's a slow process, but what you were offering was a class about gaps at the open, which were precisely my weaknesses. Uh -huh. uh, in making that transition from swing to day trading. What so, happened with Netflix though? That was the thing. Was that the, did you reach out to me after the Netflix? Because remember you told me you were in the Netflix long and yes. then it gapped against you. Was that right after you found me or before? I forget what happened with that. I, that, I, Netflix was a huge fumble I made before yeah. I found you. Yeah. And then sure enough, in your class, you used it as an example. I know, I know, <laughs> that's what, I know. And I thought, oh, I did everything backwards. Um, but, uh, essentially, you know, coming to understand gaps and coming to your course, uh, a number of things, good things happen. The gap understanding just overall, I, I think it just changed the way I look at charts altogether. Mm -hmm. It's not that what I learned before was without value, but you looking at gaps has really helped me focus on, you know, what I, what I really want to go long and what I really want to go short. So, um, you know, as it happens, uh, I take that knowledge and I'll use it to, to trade the open as you specialize in, mm -hmm. and, but I will go long and I will go short. But also, um, since you helped me read charts a little better, uh, I also manage longer term money for myself in the form of an IRA. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what you teach can be applied in different uh, time frame certainly, mm -hmm. but um, you know it, it's really been great because in my case I was able to make that transition. Trading is what I do. Yeah, uh, it's it's how I spend my day. Um, it's you know I enjoy it. Uh -huh. uh, it's not necessarily the easiest occupation if you don't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So I, I I think that's important. But uh, with the right tools and good education and just stick to itiveness and experience, it worked for me. How did you find me? I forget what you said. I, you know, I was probably just trying to find anybody online uh -huh. who had something to say about gaps. 
just because coming from the swing trade world mm -hmm. to the day trade world, oh, gaps at the open were just nothing yeah. but trouble for me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But you can make a lot of money if you're in it and right and it gaps in your direction in, in the in the gap. You know, yes, if you're in it but... overnight. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but a, a number of things were really good. I mean, you helped me focus on just a few securities each day. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a weakness I had. I, prior to you, I was coming in with long lists of things I might day trade. And I was focused on, you know, too many things okay. or trying to focus on too many things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you know, it, it's always a good thing in trading to have multiple reasons for buying or selling a stock. Well, you know, with your method, you know, as you advertise, you've got this rating system with 26 potential reasons to buy or sell a stock. And that really narrows the field down quickly. So, um, you know, focus uh, helps results. It also helps build um, confidence that what you're doing is the right thing that day. Um, Are you confident in yourself right now? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, the market tests all of us every day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have to understand, that, you know, got that uh, good, good decisions don't always lead to good outcomes, mm -hmm. you know. But that aside, knowing that you're doing the right things for the right reasons with a good system, um, that's, that's very helpful. So you were in the room for a while and then you went off on your own. And now, ah, yes. yeah, so what's that story? Yes, um, I benefited a lot from being in the room afterwards. And I, you know, I took the retakes of the class and so forth and I was constantly going over material and trying to, you know, really just internalize it for myself. Um, but, you know, they came along when I thought I, I need to just prove to myself that I know this. And, um, you know, I pulled the plug on the room, <laughs> so to speak, and uh, was, you know, I found that I was able to go out and do this on my own. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a huge confidence builder. Mm -hmm. And it, just knowing that alone, it, it just helps you. It helps my trading anyway. I think, so, it, I think it's great. I think it's a good transition for people to get the conviction and right at the beginning of the information, but you definitely have to get to a point where you say, I, you don't need me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's always helpful, but, but yeah, I, I need that. I need that confidence if I'm going to trade wherever, whenever. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, and, and as you know, sometimes I, I travel, travel to different locations and I'll trade the open from wherever I am. Um, and that you don't know if the internet's going to let you get into a room or have someone have a mentor with you. You've got to be able to do some of this stuff on your own. Uh-huh. And, uh, so you take your laptop wherever you're traveling and you train wherever you are. I know we were talking and you were in Colorado this year, so you're just going for fun trips. This isn't, this isn't work. You're basically, it's all fun. All right, well, I just wanted to ask you one more thing then. I was wondering then, what is the number one thing you learned from me? Was it really the focus? I think it was the focus. And Interesting. the focus, but the focus also helped me really distinguish one chart from, from another. You know, you have your rating system and it really gets detailed. You know, when, when I first found you, I thought 26 point rating system, this is, this is overkill. Um, <laughs> you never told me that before. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, I, I like to think that life should be simple, but every now and then I am <laughs> proven wrong. Uh huh. Um, but you know, you just kind of internalize those points, and, and and over time you come to to look at a chart and say that's a good chart. Um, right. But it's still good to rate things. Yeah. Uh, and I, I still try and rate things sometimes, especially if I have trouble deciding between one or two securities that I want to that I want to trade. Uh huh. So. Um, well, that's, you know, you the know. rating, the rating system, just rating the process of going through the ratings uh -huh. strengthens conviction as well for the day. I know. That's why I still do it myself, but I do have an intuitiveness, which is what you're talking about. You just, you, you know it then you don't really have to, but I still do. And I still think it is good too, because you're still risking money. And then it, it still helps you take the risk because no matter what you do, you're taking the risk. And so it helps you do it without any hesitation especially if it sets up quickly. Right, and it also helps me stay in the trade for a longer uh, a, oh, that's good a longer too. ride, which, you know, I, I do go a little slower turn than you do sometimes. And, yeah. You know, I'll try and hang on to something all day. That's great, that's great, yeah. If you have the time to do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Well, the, so the, the simplicity though, what you were saying about the points, it's in the fact that 
you're only looking at the one thing. The simplicity is that you only need one thing or one trait. So the right. analysis may not be simple, but it the but the simplicity is the one thing. But the analysis then, once you learn it, does become simple. For me, yes. it is simple now because I know it. So that's the difference. It's to look at the market and say, "Oh, this is just a simple, easy peasy, and you can make a million dollars." Well, that that's that's lunacy. It's the idea that there is an intricacy in the market to be able to ascertain the information to predict what somebody's going to do. Learning it is the process. Once you know it, then it is simple because you know it, and because of the focus of doing one thing, that's the simplicity. But it's the sure. making the bridge and the connection. Yeah. And simplicity is good. You just want to build good habits. Yeah. From the start, I mean, it's easier to build good habits and learn correctly than you know having to tear down old habits mm -hmm. and relearn from the start. But but you know, as you internalize things, you want to make sure you you know you want to go back and refine. And and there's a lot in your class to go back and look at again and again. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you know internalize that to a greater degree. Mm -hmm. Well, it was wonderful having you, Gerard. Thanks so much for coming today. I appreciate you learning from me and finding me on the internet however you did and it's been great to know you i'm glad we got to meet each other yeah this is fun thanks thanks Gerard. thanks for coming have a good day you too bye